welcome to my backyard. I've brought my camera out with me with my 400 millimeter lens and we have a rat in the woodpile. So come along while I try to photograph the rat. Can't find him yet. I do believe it's just a common brown rat. But I have my bird feeder just up there and I believe he just likes to come and eat all the bird seeds. I did get a photo of him the other day. So I'll put that up now. But that was the first time I've seen him in a year. I've only ever seen him twice. Once last year around this time and once again just a couple days ago. side of our greenhouse and we had some spare soil here from all our little planters and it looks like the rat's just been digging here in here so we can probably go all the way under and into the other side. So I'm gonna have to keep an eye on uh, the little tunnel here. So this is where that first hole is that I found and I actually just went around the corner and it looks like he was starting to dig another hole right in here as well. So this might be another entrance to wherever he's hiding and living. Hopefully we'll get to see him today. Oh, it's just back to the one. Take a look in here. Looks like there might be a tunnel over there. It might be a tunnel. Looks like something was digging there. And I don't know what was digging over there. But it might have been the rat. I'm going to see if I can get a closer look. So I've come over on the other side and we're going to come and take a look at whatever this is. Because it looks like something's been digging here. And it looks like there's a hole that goes that way and a little path that comes up. Maybe I'll try to bring the camera out and I'll leave it somewhere around here if I can find a way to do that. Okay. There's definitely a little tunnel in there. So, down and under. So I wonder if that, that's where we just were outside. So I'm wondering if maybe his tunnel's kind of under here and it comes up here, in here. I don't think the in-laws are gonna like my new pet. Yeah. Looks like the puppies came out to visit. Hello, girls. They like to chase the rat. Hello, Blue. Did you see the rat today? Hey. Good girl. Hello, Dishka. The Cora went inside. Good girls. Later. So we've come back outside and I have a little camera uh, that has night vision that I've bought for like three bucks on clearance at Walmart. We're going to put it to, to this battery and this little baggie because it's going to rain tonight and we're going to leave the camera outside and see if we can find the rat overnight. So let's so, go. I've climbed back into the greenhouse. It's really dark but we've got the rat tunnel down there and I've got the camera and it's already starting to rain so I'm going to set you down and we're going to set up the camera. Get that plugged in. Get that situated. We're going to put a little hat on it like this so it doesn't get all wet. And I think we're just going to set it. 
and we're just going to put it here at the edge of the rat tunnel so we can see in. And that is pointing right down into the rat tunnel which is down here. So if he comes up we'll be able to see. We're going to come and check. We left some seeds out right here because there's the rat tunnel back here and it looks like there's still all the seeds so he must not have come out but there's his other tunnel again that's his tunnel yes that's, that's one his of them. old tunnel no it's a new tunnel Whoa. but all the seeds are still there and then he's got one more tunnel just around the corner oh, that must be cute and i can still see all the seeds in here too but it's already raining and we are starting to get wet. So we've put the camera into our greenhouse. We checked his little tunnels to see. Now we're getting wet, so we're gonna go inside. We can check the cameras. We're gonna run for a little bit though. It's so fun. It's so fun. So fun running in the rain. And then we can actually check our little camera out there, or we should be able to. Hopefully the Wi-Fi will reach. Uh, and if so, we can check it from the phone and see when the rat comes. If not, then we just have to wait till the morning when we can check the SD card. So we'll come back. So I've got the camera set up outside. I actually ended up going out and moving it. But I've got it connected here so we can see it. The connection's just strong enough in the greenhouse to watch it from our phone. So if anything does happen, uh, we're going to see it on here and we'll also get a notification for motion. Hopefully we find him tonight. Welcome back to day two. I have already come and grabbed the camera from up there and we are going to go and check where his tunnel is on the side and behind the shed. So let's go. So here is one of the entrances to his little tunnels and it looks like he might have been digging around more. Uh, it's been snowing for about an hour now, but I can still see a bunch of the sunflower seeds that I left right here. I don't think he's really interested in them that much, but it does look like he was kind of coming in and out of here a little while ago. So I brought the camera out again and it's facing right into the hole. I just ripped a little hole in the baggie here so there's nothing obscuring the lens. Maybe we will get to see him doing some digging. It's cold and I'm running out of time. I'm gonna check on that a little bit later. Good morning. I'm just about to bring my kid to the bus and I was looking out the window to see if I could see some of the birds and I saw him. He scurried out from under there and went in under the trailer. George! I named the rat George. My fiance named the rat George. But I saw him. Maybe this means we'll actually get to see him a little bit more later. 
And I gotta go get the camera from behind the greenhouse. Check that too. Hello, welcome back again. It's the same video. Welcome back to me. It is, gave it a couple days and I gave the rat a break. Totally not because it was too cold to come out. Um, now we've come back out and we're gonna check on all his little things. So we're gonna start at the very back first. All the seeds are gone, but I do know that it was the Junko stealing them. But it does still look like he was digging a little bit. Uh, all of this ground is frozen now though. So let's go back to the other, inside the greenhouse. Here we are back at his tunnel in the greenhouse, the very back. And I can see it's all frozen down in there as well. Got really cold the past couple of days. Uh, but with it being frozen, I can't really see if there's been any activity. Some of the Junkos came out and they're being impatient because the seeds are right there and I didn't put them out yet. Let's go give them some seeds. Maybe the rat will get some too. Now that we've put some food and snacks out, we're gonna hide right here, kind of half under the trailer and try to be really still. Junko's already came back. Hopefully the rat will come out too. Oh, the chickadees came too. I've been sitting over there for about 15 minutes now, not very long, and the puppies decided to come out. So I don't think anything's gonna come back. Not while they're out anyway. I love crows. But they stole all the blueberries that I put down there for, for the rat. I gave them their own seeds and they stole the blueberries. There's a family of four that usually visits a couple times a day. So unfortunately I couldn't go outside because I was stuck on the phone for a little bit but the whole time I was on the phone I've been watching him from out of the window just running around collecting all, all the bird seeds I put out and I couldn't go out to see him. Hopefully when I can get back out there He'll still be there. We'll bring him another snack. I've got like less than 10 minutes till the sun sets, but I came out as fast as I could once I was done doing my stuff, because George is still out over here. George the rat, so we're gonna sneak up. I lost my phone tripod. Can you see him? He sees us. Let's get out the big camera. Oh no, he's too close. He didn't come out of there. But now there's a Junko. And he's trying to eat my, my rat food. Little Junko, it's not for you this time. Why are you trying to eat it? And back up here to eat them. Where did he go? Back there to eat them. Finally, I get to see him again. And 
and it's now too dark for me to get pictures. I am at 1 50th of a second at ISO 3200, and this is the best we can get right now. Well, rats, it's too dark now. I was going to end the video yesterday, and today is a better day, and George is back out. Though the lighting still isn't great. But there he is. So I'm going to try to get some pictures. I've come over onto the sawhorse. My camera fell asleep again and he's right on the log. Wake up, wake up, not again. Why do you always do this? Oh no, he's taking the seeds, there he is. And back in. So he stops on this log. That was pretty cool. The rat and the junko all came out while I was just sitting here using my boots as a tripod. Finally, after all of these days, it finally paid off. It's snowing right now, it's a little cold, but I got quite a few good pictures of little George, the rat. And I also got some of the juncos that were eating the seeds along with him. Oh, he just fell. <laughs> I don't know if you heard the little thump. After like a week, I finally got some photos that I'm happy with. And it just goes to show that wildlife photography, even in your backyard, isn't always easy. And sometimes you have to stick to it to actually get something out of it. So thanks for watching my backyard rat photo adventure. Why not come along on my next adventure? Who knows what we'll try to find to photograph next. If you like animals and wildlife photography, why not subscribe for more videos like this? Do you think rats in your backyard are cute or pests? Let me know down in the comments. Until next time, thanks for watching.